Good cryptocurrency fans out there, welcome back to the Everything Altcoin channel. Today we're going to be talking about Ethereum gas prices, the problems with them, and EIP-1559, when that's going to come out and how it could possibly help Ethereum with the gas price, uh, fees, but will it be too late by then? Because you're already starting to see, you know, chains like Binance Chain and Polkadot going to start to take the, a lot of, like, a lot of shares from ethereum and the development on ethereum and most people are going to start to move over to these chains like finance chain and polka dot even cardano because the fees will be way cheaper there and just much better All right but before we get into talking about that i'd like to ask you guys to subscribe to the channel if you get if you guys haven't already we're on the road to 5,000 subscribers so if you guys want to help out with that hit that red subscribe button don't forget to like the video comment anything in the comment section down below and don't forget to hit that bell button to get notified every time i upload a video and lastly check out the discord in the comment section down below to join the fam join the team we talking about different different cryptos as of right now right now we're actually talking about the eve gas prices right now as you guys can see there's people in here we talking about the trades because the market is on a downturn as of right now and it's the best time to actually get into your your new trades or stack up on some older uh, stack up on some older positions right so Let's get into the video. So as you guys can see, these are the prices for Ethereum gas fees right now, right? To be to make it an ASAP trade, a you know a trade to go through quick, 490 a uh, 496, but and that is very freaking high. And you guys can see the standard, the slow, the slowest one is just 286, and that's still very too high for a standard trade, which is you know just slow. That's how crazy. That's how much money these tra uh these transactions cost right i was just about to make a, a new trade today right and i'm looking at gas fees at like 300 dollars. i'm looking i'm like <sighs> i can't make this trade done this is just getting out of hand as you guys can see the leaderboard 16.9 eth is spent in the last 30 day 16.9 thousand eth was spent in gas that's freaking a lot and that's 2.21.6 uh, million dollars guys 21.6 million dollars only in gas fees this this that's the big problem with ethereum bro that is the big problem with ethereum it's getting out of hand and and a lot of new new traders coming into the to the market because there's a lot of new traders especially on my channel i'm starting to see a lot more new traders coming onto the market and the first thing they talk about is the eth gas fees man you know they want to stay on binance um binance kucoin things like that they want to stay on the centralized exchanges because the eth gas prices is ridiculous and i understand i just the money is all the money that's that you want to make it's on it's on uniswap and this that just as you guys can see from the from the fees spent that just shows you why that is guys it's it's getting crazy it's, it's getting out of hand right then the solution basically ethereum's e uh ethereum's eip 1559 it's not coming out for some time right however the the, uh, the activity on ethereum improved drastically the rise the rapid rise of DeFi and the surge in nft acti uh, activity led to new limitations as well ethereum transactions fee transaction fees rose to a new height this insufficient fee market was considered a major drawback guys the, in the fact gas prices were costing more than the value of the transferred in one transaction during the DeFi surge many users complained about the utilization of the network you know keep in mind keep that in mind e eip 1559 is under development and eip long considered to be the solution and gateway to ethereum's uh ethereum's evolved monetary policy basically what EIP 1559 uh, basically would do is just as suggested, it will implement a fixed fee for all transactions, which will vary according to the level of activity and congestion dealt by the network at a given time. The suggested fee and base fee will rise and fall according to the higher and lower levels of congestion. Right? Basically, it also allows you to tip gas. Right? But this is not coming for no, not for a while, guys. That's this is what is meant to help, um, basically Ethereum. But it's not coming for a while, and that's the problem. We're gonna have to sit here and wait for this. You could be losing money, not making the gains you want to make, right? And that's that's just getting out of hand. Like I don't want a lot of people to lose their money, things like that. Like I said once again, um, all the really real money is being made on Ethereum. 
you know, decentralized exchange, Uniswap, and that is just eating up a lot of gas fees. But what 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 do we have to save us as of right now? This is not something uh, I'm really just getting used to it, and I'm just starting to use it. Use it. Um, it's Binance Coin, Binance Chain, guys. They are going crazy over there. The fees is way lower, so you have a lot more capital to actually play with and actually make a lot more gains. Um, I see people pulling out easy five x's in just a few days of new coins dropping on a binance chain um that's is good but it's an untested market also so there's some there could be some rug pulls over there also i think uh what is this one um uh wall street oh no i didn't even come out here yet but yeah uh, but there's some few coins on the Binance chain that is doing very well. You got your, you know, pancake swap, which is doing all amazing guys. As you guys can see, the market cap is just growing. It's just growing. And I do believe it's going to take a lot more shares of Uniswap. If, as people start to learn more about Binance chain, people will start to use pancake swap also because the fees are a lot lower there and people are just, so if it just takes adoption really and the adoption to binance chain is actually growing as we speak so more people is going to start to learn about it you're going to start to see more people get into binance chain and the volume there is just going to start to explode even more this is like the beginning i think the last straw was just this week to be honest uh, maybe two weeks maybe a month because last DeFi boom that we seen gas fees was ridiculous and now gas fees are crazy again Especially this could be the bull market the last time was not truly in the bull market. Now it's in the true bull market. So we're going to be looking at some crazy gas fees. People, I haven't seen people on Twitter talking about $1,000 in gas fees. No, no, no. Miss me with that. Miss me with that. So as you guys can see, you got pancake swap here. And in the past three months, pancake swap to 3,000, uh, 3,495% gain, bruh. In the last that's just the last three months from 19 to the ultimate high of 18 ultimate high of 18 dollars guys that is some inc some incredible gains and now you have shield shield protocol uh no no market cap on it yet which i'm about to i'm i might this is what i'm thinking about picking up right now is like a layer two um layer two uh rug pull thing i, I gotta look more into it again but um this is another good pick right here as you guys can see all-time low was just one day ago at three dollars and 73 cents and now one day again <laughs> the next the next day really today it's now at eleven dollars and 63 cents as the all-time high and now it's just in between that as the pre as the present price at eight dollars and 82 cents right so that's ultimately close to four x close that's just a little bit under a four x that it did from the all-time low so that is interesting. Binance Chain is looking to pick up and I'm looking to learn more about Binance Chain and actually start making some trades there too because I'm not trying to miss out on the gains and I'm not trying to pay too much fees and gas to be honest with you. So I'm going to make some different moves. Then next you got, of course, Polkadot, which is their ecosystem is going to launch soon within a few months or so, right? You're going to have the Kusama, the Kusama pair chains. Then you're going to have the Polkadot pair chains, right? And on here, they're they're looking to, you know, have lower gas fees, right? And what's interesting about Polkadot and its ecosystem, you got a, you got projects like Moonbeam and Plasm, right? Plasm basically to make things scalable. Plasm is just making things scalable, essentially, for the Polkadot ecosystem, right? Now, it also has a Ethereum virtual machine where the compatibility is there. Basically, it just supports Ethereum tokens, so you can deploy a Ethereum smart contract with MetaMask and Remix, um, basically. That's one. Then you have essentially the best. I think the the biggest crypto. You guys, you guys already know how much I already talked about Moonbeam a few times on this channel. It's not out as of yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, well, we're gonna go look at when if they made any updates. But they're looking to basically help Ethereum projects port over to Polkadot. That's that's the that's the easy way for Polkadot to actually share uh, steal some market share from Ethereum and their projects, and that's what is going to be pretty huge. And that's why I'm very huge on the Polkadot ecosystem. One, I already noted the the fees over there is going to be low, and the projects are really making uh, an effort to make everything cross chain, so you can tr uh, trade them across chain things like that. That's why I love Polkadot guys, right? So now let's just go see 
when if they made an update to when um you know the glimmer token is going to come out uh last update was just last month um uh let's scroll down a little bit uh, no no true update on exactly when it's going to come out but it should be coming out soon within a few months i say because this is this is something that a lot of people are waiting for and a lot of people are very interested in getting on this so oh here we go anticipated launches quarter two of 2021 so it could be within a few months to like three four months when they finally launch and and that's going to be big for the ecosystem but let me know what you guys think leave your thoughts in the comment section down below if you guys haven't subscribed already yet please do so let me know if let me know if you guys are using the binance chain how are you liking it so far what are some of your picks on Binance Chain? Leave them in the comment section down below to help out the community, even me. I'm, I'm looking at some Binance Chain coins now too. So if you, if you would like to do that, just leave your comments in the comment section down below and I'll check you guys later. Peace YouTube.